Welcome back to our overview of Business 210. In this video, we're going to discuss what you learned in Units 1 through 3 and what you can expect from Units 4 and 5. Looking back at the first three units of this course, your key takeaway should be how important the communication process is to success in the business world. You learned what the communication process was and how it worked, and about the components and models of the communication process. You also learned that messages are at the center of the communication process and that the language you use in your messages has an impact on your audience. Once you understood the processes and messages that create effective communication, you learned that perception is important, how you produce messages and how your audience receives them. The key point from this section was to illustrate why it is always important that the messages you produce reflect your own professionalism as well as the traits of your audience. Another point made in this section is that Theories and models can help communicators identify elements of the communication process that will help them prepare for different communication situations. For example, these images show two very different communication situations. Between the images, you can see how the elements and models can be accounted for and how they differ. Now let's look ahead. In this section, we're going to learn about written communication and how to effectively meet the needs and expectations of your audience. First, however, we will review the eight elements of communication and use them to examine the similarities and differences between oral and written communication. Then we will focus on good writing and good writing style, including the characteristics of three common types of writing. Keep in mind that good writing has three critical traits, the three C's. Good writing is clear, concise, and compelling. Next, you'll examine the important principles of communication based on relationships between pieces of information. These Gestalt principles of communication use the way people think to present information to them more clearly. Another set of principles you'll encounter in this section are the organizing principles. Pay particular attention to them because organization is an important key to good writing. An added benefit is that when your writing follows these patterns, the process helps keep you focused on your purpose and the point you must make. As you become more familiar with the styles and form of routine business communication, it is important to never forget the three C's. You must be clear, you must be concise, and you must be compelling. Whether you're writing an email, a report, or a sales pitch, all business communication must be clear, concise, and compelling. The reality, of course, of business communication is that sometimes the rules have to be broken. Take a resume, for example. It's one of the most important pieces of business writing you may ever have to do. Now, a standard resume should only be one page long, and that's very concise. But what if that means that you need to leave off some information and some work history? Well, that might not be as compelling. So it's often up to you as an effective communicator to decide the balance of these things. But this course is going to help you do that. So keep going, and good luck.